Hello guys, today I have a 2006 uh, Toyota Sienna minivan with the ABS light and uh, this minivan has a 217,000 miles on it. I, uh, let's see our fault code. We have a uh, C0200 uh, right front wheel speed sensor signal fault. Uh, I took the car for the test drive and uh, here's the shot of the data and as we can see we are not getting the signal from our front right uh, sensor which that uh, confirms the problem uh, all other sensors are okay uh, when I see this is a good starting point with the ABS system just take it, take it for a test drive confirm the uh, you know your signals uh, if uh, as we can see there are no signal taking place whatsoever so this is a good indication that this is not of course intermittent problem this is not a problem where we have we could have a problem with uh, a reluctor wheel maybe missing a tooth or something where they have a dropout uh, in our signal this is basically a uh, uh, pretty much dead dead circuit so now we have to figure out that we have a bad sensor open the sensor open the wiring short to ground or, th or things of that nature so um, I'm gonna pop the wheel off and we're gonna do visual inspection then we're gonna do some other checks okay I got the wheel off here's, um, here's my sensor right there sensor looks looks okay uh, I inspected the wires from the sensor itself I see no obvious damage anywhere um, here's the uh, rest of the uh, so the wire I unplugged, uh, I unplugged the sensor, so I want to check the resistance on it. And here's the harness right there from uh, from the ABS module. And uh, I did the same thing on the on the left side. So basically, I just want to compare the resistance from uh, left to right. I know my left side is good. Here's my uh, I unplugged the sensor from the left front and. Uh, Let's see the resistance on it. And we're measuring uh, around one kilo ohm. That's resistance on the good one. So let's go to uh, let's go back to right side. I'm just touching slightly. I'm not jamming this in. This is a very fine uh, forcep, and uh, I got an open loop. So I'll check it one more time to make sure I got good connection on my on my forcep. an open loop so right now um, I have an open in my sensor and uh, that's that's pretty much it now before so you know I'm gonna need a sensor for sure now I have to check my uh, uh, wires my harness from uh, from my sensor to my ABS module and uh, the way I'm gonna do that uh, each ABS module uses a uh, bias voltage to look at the uh, to check the um, continuity on the ABS circuits so all we have to do is uh, take the voltmeter and connect our voltmeter to harness side uh, it comes from the uh, ABS module so we're going to connect the leads there to our harness and we're going to turn the key on and we should see some kind of voltage on it so we're going to compare left and right side. So this voltage sometimes stays as you know as long as you keep the key on. Sometimes it might be five to ten seconds, depends on the system. But each system should have some kind of a bias voltage. So we're basically going to compare the uh, voltage on, on on both sides, and if that's fine, then we have a bad sensor. I mean, we have bad sensor for sure. But I just want to make sure that my uh, ABS module is okay, my harness from my uh, uh, from from my, my connector. From my connector to um, um, 
ABS module that, that that's that's uh, taken care of. Okay, well I got two voltmeters hooked up. Um, this is my connector from the front left. Basically, I have these small alligator clips. I got it hooked up to my connector. Is my is my uh, you know leads to my first voltmeter. I have a leads to my second uh, voltmeter. They hooked up to a uh, front uh, front left, a good one. So we're just going to turn the key on, and we're going to see what kind of voltage we, voltage we're going to have on. Uh, on these two uh, voltmeters and they should be the same if my harness is okay on both sides. I know it's good on the on the front left so uh, let's just uh, turn the key on and again this this voltage sometimes it may stay as long as you have a key on sometimes it may be five to ten seconds basically just look for uh, bias voltage and you should be alright. So as we can see we are reading 4.63 uh, volts on both 4.63, 4.63. So this tells me that my harness is okay. My ABS module is fine. I need a new um, new uh, sensor. Now, unfortunately, I cannot finish this repair. I uh, got a. Uh, I went to AutoZone and checked the price for it. It's around two hundred dollars, which I don't understand why it's so expensive. It's not one that's built into the uh, a hub bearing. It's just a sensor. Uh, I've seen some on eBay for like 20 bucks, so I might order some from eBay. Uh, but owner can't afford $200 for um, for this, this sensor to be installed today. So I will uh, try to get one off on eBay, and if I do get one, I will I will definitely uh, finish this uh, finish this problem, finish this uh, uh, ABS uh, problem. So, okay, so this is it. Uh, confirm uh, bad uh, front uh, right uh, wheel speed sensor. Uh, each ABS module is going to have some kind, of, uh, some kind of bias voltage. This sensor is, uh, it makes its own voltage. It's a variable relactor, uh, makes AC sound wave. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, uh, you can see that there was an open in the sensor itself. But uh, to confirm your uh, wiring your from the sensor to your ABS module uh, I think this is the best way to do okay guys um, now one more thing also when I unplug my front left uh, uh, sensor of course we're gonna set since I got the key on uh, we're gonna have a uh, now in our um, uh, we're gonna have a code for a front left as well but we know that we actually induce that that code so that's that's okay so okay guys um, this is it. Thank you for watching and um, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.